Hey everybody, this isn't a video I particularly wanted to make, but having made a video with this machine in the past, where I, I don't think I reviewed it, I think I just showed it off. Um, if any of you bought one of these, I must let you know about something, and if you own one of these machines, you're going to have to check this after watching this video. So this is a plasma cutter I bought in December of 2019, and to be fair with you, this machine's worked brilliantly. It was only about 170 quid, it's done everything I've needed it to do, I've not had a problem. But the other day I needed to use my TIG welder, and I accidentally plugged in the plasma cutter rather than the TIG welder, and then that wouldn't turn on, I was getting all confused, and I started checking fuses. So this is why, by sheer luck, I ended up opening the plug to this plasma cutter and discovering what I did. Okay, so first things first, I bought this from Amazon. It is no longer being sold under the same listing that I bought it. Uh, the brand is Tamble, which is T-A-M-M-I-B-L-E. Uh, it says Taz Tamble Plasma Cutter Cut 50 Electric blah 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 blah. The company who sold it was Tamble Dash UK, which is obviously the company that sells this for the Chinese company because on the Amazon listings it shows you there's a UK customer service address and obviously that's where they dispatched them from, uh, presumably. And then there is a China address, which is obviously where the company itself is based. It doesn't actually have that name on the side of it. It says Sun, whatever that's supposed to say, as you can see. That is the machine. Okay, as I say, it was only sheer luck that I took this cover off. And when I took the cover off, that is what I saw. That looks completely normal and fine, right? See, just looks like a 13 amp fuse. Until you lift it up and on the underneath of it, I discovered this. Yes, this is a 13 amp fuse that came in the machine when it was bought from Amazon, obviously distributed by that, that Tamble, what, Timber, whatever the company's called. Now, I've only ever seen something like this in the list of absolutely do not ever do that. So when I saw this, I thought, right, that can't be right. But I'm not an electrical, electrical expert. Uh, I wonder if there's something I'm missing here and, and maybe that's a normal practice in high amperage machines like this. Well, one of my patron followers happens to be an electrical engineer, and he had the same reaction I did, which is, uh, yeah, that ain't right, and that ain't good. And the only reason that they can think that a company would do something like this is that it blows its fuses all the time, which would mean it has a manufacturing issue. So, one, this video is to say, if you own one of these plasma cutters or any other Amazon-based electrical equipment welders and stuff like that that came from China, I honestly think that you should go and just take the fuses out of the plugs and just check the backs of them. Just just do it, you know, it'll only take five minutes to do, and you could obviously stop yourself using a machine with something like this in it. Now, in theory, it shouldn't have put myself at any great risk because our fuse board has got breakers and stuff on it that will, uh, and we've got ground fault interrupters and stuff like that, that will cut the electricity instantly. So this wasn't a safety issue for my own use safety as I understand it, but it could have caused a fire had something shorted to my understanding. Now, I don't keep this machine or any of my machines plugged in uh, in the garage when I'm not in here. In fact, the only time a machine is generally powered in here is if it's in use uh, or going to be in use in the next sort of, you know, 20 minutes or so. Otherwise, I just switch power off for just peace of mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a normal 13 amp fuse in this machine and I'm going to go outside and just do some test cuts on a piece of steel uh, and see if it blows this fuse. If it does blow this fuse, it tells us that it's prone to doing it, and rather than fix the issue, this company decided to do that. Okay, sorry if the audio is not quite as good for this part of the video, but I'm just gonna do the tests. Let's see if I can even turn the machine on without it blowing a fuse. So the machine has turned on. That seems like it's working, so let's do some test cuts.
I use plasma cutters for bulk material removal. I'm not a neat plasma cutter. So, you know, don't start scoring my work. Uh, but we did one, two, three, four, five, six cuts. I think that equals. Um, and that was on 45 to, uh, sorry, 45, 48 amps, something like that. So it's near its top end. Okay, it's not a hard, particularly hard job on the machine and it wasn't a long, long cut or anything like that. So, you know, maybe it would show up. But I honestly thought if you're going to go to the point of putting something like that in a machine that it probably just couldn't function. But clearly it can. So I've just got a normal fuse in it now. So I don't really know what to make of that because it works still. So, I mean, that's good news. I've put a 13 amp fuse in it, it's working fine. Hopefully I won't have any issues in the future. I don't get why they would go to the length of doing something as ridiculous as this. Maybe someone in the comments can elaborate beyond what we think is the reason why this would be done, which is interesting. Oh, hang on, maybe some machines blow the fuses all the time and other ones don't and to get around that they shove these in. I, I don't know. It makes no sense to me that it would work and they would put that in it. But even if you don't own this exact machine, if you've bought any welding or, you know, high-powered equipment from Amazon, eBay, place like that, stuff where it's generally distributed from China, maybe check the fuses, and I mean check the fuses by taking them out of the plugs, because I honestly couldn't see there was anything going on with this, obviously, because you, you can't really, but as soon as I turned it over... Anyway, if you know anyone who uses machinery like this or has got, you know, one of the cheap welders or something, Maybe share this video with them, maybe just let them know like you might want to check your fuses because this dude's found kind of a concerning one. And of course that's another point, has anyone else found one of these in their machine? I'm keeping this for like, you'll never believe this thing I found. But uh, yeah, I felt like I was kind of obligated to mention this for the people that may have bought the same plasma cutter as me or anyone who's bought some machinery and wants to just check, you know? So there we go, if you found this video interesting or useful, please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here. I'm very close to 100K now. Anyway, until the next one, bye-bye.